We would like to thank Glendon Spires Mobile Home Community for the use of their clubhouse in the production of the following program. Glendon Spires, exceptional values in senior living, close to shopping, golf, fishing, and restaurants. 951-658-1818. I'm Pastor Judy and I'm here today and we are going to cook wonderful tempura for you. Um, wonderful cooked vegetables and uh, our program is food for body and soul. And uh, let me tell you, you don't feed your body right, you don't feed your soul right, you're already heading downhill really fast. Uh, my dear friend, uh, Pastor Judy Leeper is here with me today and I'm glad to have you here. I'm so glad to be back. Okay, we are here to do for you. That's the, pl that's the plan, is to do for you. We are at London Spires. Uh, they have been so gracious to let us use their clubhouse, uh, and we want to give them a special, special thanks, because it wouldn't be possible if we didn't have this in order to bring the program for you. Uh, if you have a place there, a venue, that you would like for us to come and to uh, present the show, uh, whether it's a nursing home or a retirement home, whatever, we would love to come and be able to film in your venue if you would like for us to come. You can uh, get a hold of us on our webpage, which is almv.us, uh, which when you pull that up, it will take you to AbundantLifeMinistriesOfTheValley.com. Uh, we have, um, you know, a, a way there to, for you to email us. Uh, we have an address for you to be able to write us. Uh, just contact us and we would love to be able to share our program with you. Um, Sister Judy, her husband and uh, her minister and uh, pastor a church in San Jacinto, California. Uh, it's called Faith Tabernacle and they're on 7th Street uh -huh. in San Jacinto. Very family oriented um, pastorate. And uh, just if you don't have a home church, we tell people if you have a home church, you stay in your home church. But if you don't or you feel the Lord leading you, then please go and try. It just might be the body for you. So uh, we have our oil all ready to go. I'm going to turn it down just a hair. Don't want to be blasted when I take the lid off. And I think it's because I have the lid on because it's doing up a little moisture. Okay. I want to start off first, and we're going to have uh, Pastor Judy to start cutting up our vegetables. We're going to do cauliflower. We're going to do zucchini, uh, eggplant, mushrooms, and that's it. That's it. And so we're going to cut these in pieces for us to be able to have finger food uh, amount. Uh, I'm going to make the batter, and I want you to know that I have it started here. I have my oil on. We want to be able to have the oil nice and hot, not too hot, to where it causes it to burn and it doesn't cook through. But a tempura, here you go. What did you Crooked. Do? It is fine, fine, fine. <laughs> nope, nope. I'll tell you, dipped in tempura batter, and you're never going to know. <laughs> okay. J jumping out of a helicopter at 10,000 feet, you're never going to know the difference. All right. So what we do is we have an ice bath, and you need to keep your tempura batter nice and cold. So I've got this set up to where there's ice around my main bowl that I'm going to mix my batter in. And uh, as this melts, it's still going to be cold water, so it's going to be fine. Um, we're going to start off, first of all, while Sister Judy is cutting the vegetables. And I think Sister Judy will take and do those in half again. Uh, so that oh. way, yes. In, right, a good in idea. Force. Okay. Like this? Uh, yep, you got it. And if you think it's a little too thick, um, I think that's all right. I think you're doing fine, yes. You're hired. And you know what? I don't use knives. Yes. Yeah, she's, she's, this is a real scary thing. And this is a big the, knife. The biggest knife I use is this size. Okay. <laughs> and, and she comes in and I hand her this uh, butcher blade. And, uh, but she's doing very, very nicely. Well, I, I want to start things. out, you know, the, the technical way or the way to make this, uh, whether it's an old wives tale or whatever, but they say the batter mix up, mixes up better if you use chopsticks. That's, yeah, that's what the recipe says, that it's just something, because it should be a little bit lumpy, should not be just super, super thin, but we're going to use a fork, because if I had uh, chopsticks, I don't know what we would end up with. 
I'm afraid we would have a problem. So you have to have, we're going to start first of all by beating up one egg and um, let me see my recipe, I want to get this right. One egg and two thirds cup of cold water. So let's go ahead and crack our egg. We're gonna mix this up and then we're gonna start the rest of it. Okay, I cut straight on this one. You're good, see? Practice makes perfect. Yeah, you, you can uh, become a surgeon now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, you know, they say that uh, doctors uh, uh, what do you want to call it? Is a practice. And think about oh, that. Yes. They're practicing. It is a practice. Yeah, they're practicing yeah. on you. Yes. Yeah. And now we're going to do two thirds, and this must be cold water. I've got a little bit of ice cubes in here, but I'm going to take them out. Uh, could you have me a spoon? In fact, a slotted spoon right there uh, with holes in it. If we have one, doesn't matter. That's fine. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. I can get them out. All right, we're going to take these ice cubes out, but this needs to be very cold water. So we're going to start out first of all by adding a half a cup of flour. And we're going to add it down here in this well that we have with our ice around it. So two thirds cup of um, flour, one half cup flour, a half a cup of cornstarch, a half a cup of cornstarch. A teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, how you doing? Okay. I'm doing great. Good, not too thin on the, yeah. I know, I'm trying oh, to uh, Okay, dokey. <laughs> One teaspoon baking powder. A teaspoon of sugar. Oh, and I left my sugar. I need to go get my sugar. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go this way. I'll be back. I'll do a tap now. Yeah, there you go. She's gone. <laughs> There we go, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. All righty, a teaspoon of sugar. Okay. And then we're going to mix our water into our egg. Okay. How's this? Looking good. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Okay, I'm gonna mix this all up. I'll put it over my. These okay. vegetables are so fresh. Mm, Very they smell nice. Smells so good when you slice into them. Let's go ahead and we're going to put in our egg. Okay, we're going to start mixing this around. Hope you can see that. Let's move this out of the way. Need just a little bit more water. I didn't put quite my two-thirds cup in there, so that's why I'm... Alrighty, and she's cutting that all up. We need this to be able to take the vegetables and dip them in here. It's going to be not quite as thick as a pancake batter, but not quite as thin as a crepe batter. So that'll kind of give you an idea. And I think that's probably just about enough. In fact, we'll, we'll hold those a little over to the side. Okay. And uh, go ahead with the mushrooms. Okay. We wipe them down. Yes. Rather than using water, because the water soaks, will cause the... They soak up and then they become mushy. And do they splatter if they have water? Yeah, you don't want any water. Uh -huh. In fact, any of these, we've not put any water on them at, of any kind because uh, we don't want them to go into the batter and end up splattering. But the mushrooms, you should never put mushrooms in water. You shouldn't wash them with water, anything like that. It just totally, they won't brown for one thing. If you're going to make like a steak uh, with mushrooms, uh, they'll just become watery because the water will cook right back out of them oh. because uh, you, they'll, they'll absorb water immediately when you put them under water. Didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Now okay. I'm taking the stems out. Do yes. we do anything yeah. with the stems? No, hmm. just we go just ahead and throw them, them away. Mm -hmm. Well, normally I would pop one in my mouth. Oh, but I won't there you go. Them. Well, all righty. Because we just wiped them down. Okay, all righty. Um, we have our scripture today. Remember, we're here to feed the body and the soul. 
And our scripture today is in Song of Solomon, uh, chapter 7, verse 10. And it is, I am my beloved's and his desire is towards me. You know, so often we live our life and we just feel unloved. Mm -hmm. We feel like, you know, nobody likes us. Uh, everything's going wrong. And you need to know that Christ says, God says, uh, that you are his beloved. Uh, when everything goes wrong, know that he is on your side. Uh, when it's you and God, you have yes. a majority. Yes. You have a majority. Yes. Don't let anybody tell you that you don't have a majority because right. you do. And That's we right. are here today for one purpose, and that purpose is to feed you. And we are feeding you in spirit, and we're feeding you in your body. So uh, remember, I am my beloved's. Just when you go to bed tonight, lay down and just say that to the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm your beloved. I'll tell you, it'll just calm your oh, heart, yes. calm your spirit. And uh, when everything's going wrong, maybe even had a great day. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It'll get even better when you talk to the Lord before you go to sleep. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead. If you'll pass me the little tongs right there hanging uh -huh. on the side. And we're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to turn this back up just a hair because I want my my batter. And we're going to start off first with the zucchini. I'm going to put this in here. And we are going to go to town. I hope my, oh, it needed to be a little bit. I, it'll, it'll come up here. I don't want to do it too quick. I turned it down because it was splattering and now I got it too low. You know, Pastor Judy, um, when my mother passed away, which wasn't long yes. ago, uh, one night I went to bed and I was just weeping. I missed her so bad. I felt so alone. No one loves you like your mother. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I sat on the edge of my bed and my husband was gone. He was ministering elsewhere. And I remember thinking, oh, mom, if you were only here, if you were only here. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, I'm here. Mm -hmm. And he wrapped his loving arms around me. And he loved me that night. Yes. Just like this scripture says, yes. he rocked me literally in his love and wrapped me up so great that I felt the love. I was able to go to sleep yes. without my husband there yes. and feel the love. Yes. This scripture is so true. Yes. If you just read it and guide your life by it. That's <laughs> right. I tell you, there's a lot of books out there. Uh -huh. A lot of stuff to read, but you you can never go wrong reading the Word. That's true. Because it's alive, and mm -hmm. that's what we always need to keep in mind, that it's alive. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these up here, and in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of these, get these going too. All righty. I hope you enjoy this. As you see, this needs to stay cold. The tempura needs to stay cold. Uh, so that's why we put it in a bath of, um, what did I do with it? Here we go. I'm going to take a couple of these cauliflower. Whoop, whoop. I love cauliflower. And you know, I, uh, any time that you um, dip something in a batter like this, I've done onion rings, but now this is not uh, deep fried onion rings. You know, they're not that kind of a batter. This is a mm -hmm. lighter uh, batter. Uh huh. And so it's not, it's totally different. I've mm -hmm. never been able to get something to stick mm -hmm. like that is sticking. Yeah, it's because the, the, the fruit is dry and that makes all the difference too, is that it's dry. You might have washed uh, maybe the vegetable beforehand. Uh huh. That makes a difference. Okay. So you've done a lot of traveling. Yes, in your, indeed, mm -hmm. I have, mm -hmm. and um, I can tell you there are so many different foods all over this world, mm -hmm. and um, every country that I've been to has had something that is delicious, that you can survive. I remember my first trip, I took a whole bunch of cans of tuna, just because I was afraid <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't get any good food, Yes, not even one. Uh, can was open. Well, so I can tell you whether you're in Ghana or Uganda or Kenya yes. or in the Orient or in the Philippines and it, wherever you are, 
there is good food. In mm -hmm. fact, I had planned on losing weight in the Philippines. Ah. Because it was my first missionary journey, I knew I was not going to be able to eat. Yes. I'm telling you, I didn't lose one pound, <laughs> but I did come home heavier. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. And that's normally a vegetables and uh, yeah. <laughs> vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. Mm -hmm. But they also have fish, delicious oh, fish. Oh. Okay. And rice everywhere. Oh mm. boy, was I wrong. Wow. Well, it was great. Well, I enjoy eating. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you pastor a church, everything revolves around food. Yes, it does. You know, we don't <laughs> drink and cuss and smoke and run with those who do. I mean, no, you know, we don't. but we do eat. We, yeah, but we do eat. <laughs> and that does make a big difference when you are, um, you know, in church because of all the things that you don't want to do. I remember all the things I used to do before I was saved. I did all those things. Yes. Um, but you know, the point of it is, is now when we're together, we fellowship. And the, the word even tells us that for us to break bread together, yes. to be together yes. and to fellowship and to have those things. Indeed. Um, so that's what we do. And we all do it very, very well. That's all I can tell you. Well, this is wanting not to cook up as fast as I would like it to. I got her up there cranked. Maybe I need to not put quite so much in there, but we wanted to cook. Sure looking good. Mm -hmm. Let me go uh, ahead and get that. All righty. Uh, due to time, I've gone ahead and added some of my mushrooms. Uh, they're just ready to turn over. I've got the ones that I had in. I have them out on the board to drain because you want to make sure that they drain. Is it driving you crazy? Well, listen to the sizzle. Uh-huh. Yes. That already tells the brain something good yeah. is about to happen. <laughs> that old brain, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to turn these over nice and golden brown. These are the mushrooms and some cauliflower in here. And we have just a little bit left. But I want you to see that you can do this, you know, at home. It isn't rocket science. You just have to make sure that you... Uh, you know, get your batter made, and it's simple ingredients, the same thing you would have, you know, in your home. Baking soda, baking powder, some sugar, uh, flour. These don't want to turn over for me. Remember our um, scripture we have for today, Songs of Solomon 7, 10, chapter 7, verse 10. I am my beloved's. And his desire is towards me. Can you imagine to think that God thinks about us all day long? Oh, what there, thought. there isn't a second of time that goes by that we are not being thought about. Um, you know, I tell people when they ask me to pray for them, probably 99% of the time I say, I'm going to do it right now. Let's mm -hmm. just stop mm -hmm. right now and pray because I don't want to forget. Right. to pray for them right. because we're human. But God never forgets never. to pray for us. Never. In fact, the Bible tells us that he is ever interceding for us That's right. day and night. That's right. Oh, and I'll tell you, there's nobody I would want to pray for me more than I would him because he's, <laughs> he's got yes. it all together. Yes, you know, yes. I've often said, if I died and I woke up, and there wasn't a heaven. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a heaven. Mm -mm. I got news for you. First of all, we know there is one. Yes. But second of all, there isn't a thing that God asks us to do yeah. that isn't going to benefit us. That's right. We still get heaven. Right. But if it was all not there, I will never, ever be sad that I served him. He loves us so much. Yes. You know, Andre Crouch wrote a song and sang it, if Heaven never was promised to me. Neither God's promise that we will live eternally. It's been worth just having the Lord in my life. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that song. Well, it's a beautiful song. Yeah, well, it's exactly what, what I was referring to. If mm -hmm. everything was, was uh, even what it's supposed to be, I am happy to mm -hmm. serve the Lord. Yes. Happy, happy, happy. Me too. All righty, here's these mushrooms. Look at those babies. I'm going to be happy, 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 happy to girl. Eat these. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, she cleaned all of these, cut everything up, and um, it's, it's a two man job, let me tell you. And I used 
The big knife. The big knife. <laughs> She didn't mess around. She had it all figured out. Now you're a pro at that thing. Well, when they start thank handing you. you a butter knife, you say, "Oh no, get yeah, bring, yeah, yeah, yeah. bring me the big stuff." Oh. Amen, amen. Well, I'll tell you, you could take this and make it up. This would be a great snack, you know, to have television oh. or a movie on, and uh, take these and or with a barbecue. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the barbecuers have a thing that you can actually fry on the barbecue. Yes, a little. And if you use that outside, mm -hmm. oh, yep, yep. Just Absolutely. have Judy over and yeah, take yeah. care of it for you. <laughs> but I'll, I'll come over and let somebody else cook for me. You there know, you there go. You go. <laughs> but let's see, let's get this puppy in here. This is a big old fat. Um, see, we had plenty of uh, batter. Uh -huh, we it did. Kinda I looked was like, wondering. Mm -hmm. It just seems um. to go and go and go. This is the zucchini. And we had some uh, mushrooms, and we had cauliflower, and we had eggplant. Eggplant, yes. Mm -hmm. And there's so many other things out there that you can use. Uh -huh. uh, if you go, oh, well, I don't want any of that. Um, <laughs> there's sweet potatoes. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. You can even do um, uh, french fries. You could take the white potato and make up french fries like this. And put the tempura batter yes. on. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cholesterol. Yeah. Here yes, we come. here we come. <laughs> well, we're going to let these go, and here we can see. All right, I'm going to put these last bit of eggplant in here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make up um, some dip to go with this. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yes. While these are frying, we're going to make our dip. Uh, if you'll cut very, very fine, I want it minced up, you know, nice and fine. Uh, if you want to cut them that way, then go back and take your knife and just kind of mince okay. them up again. Uh, two green onions and two of that we're going to use. Let me get my recipe. Get my brain here. Uh, we're going to have uh, a half a cup of soy sauce. What is wrong with soy sauce? Not a bad thing. <laughs> All right, let's get it in here. Salt is good for the body. Oh, I'll so tell you. <laughs> and there's nothing like dipping these uh, vegetables in this. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. And a table, two tablespoons of sugar. See, do we have a tablespoon? Let me have this one. I'm Close a little enough. used to using a little food processor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the old-fashioned way. What? <laughs> I hear you. Okay, this is two tablespoons of sugar, and then some red wine vinegar. And you want to stir, stir, stir because you want that sugar. Now we've used uh, vegetable oil, just a pure vegetable oil for our cooking, for our vegetables, because you don't want any flavor uh, to compete with your tempura. Mm. Okay, and uh, let's see, where did it go? Two tablespoons. There is definitely, um, an importance to the technique in which you use the knife. <laughs> and when you mince something, be sure you don't cut your finger. Yes, it would be nice. That would be. Yeah. Far. Now just put that right in there. Okay. There you Is go. This now, right? now that's what that little boogie's for, right? Oh, there. How oh see, you get to use the, the handy dandy tools. <laughs> and Judy has them. Mm -hmm. She knows what she's doing. That will solve a lot of problems right there. Oh, I love uh, using okay. this. Okay. Soy sauce, green onion, there we go. I'm going to stir, stir, stir because we want that sugar to dissolve in there. And then I'm going to take a little taste, see if we need any more sugar. This show is costing me. I'm going to have to buy some tools. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, when I got that, I thought, oh, well, I'll never use that. It's amazing how many times I have used that. Okay, I'm going to taste this. Whoa-wee, is that baby salty. Woo! But I guess you just dip it a little bit. I'm going to put this in here. You don't want to go overboard when you dip. Right. I'll tell you that right now. And if you'll take that and just keep stirring that, because we can kind of hear the, the sugar down in there. I'm going to add just a hair more sugar, I think. This She's is called so a hair. Sweet. There, there. 
She's just so sweet. Full of sugar. Just a hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to take out my, this is the last of my mushrooms. You know, you can actually smell. This has a fragrance. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the um, soy sauce. The aroma. And, the, yeah, and look great. at this right here. Did I turn that down? No. It's just ready to eat. That's the problem. The oil is saying, come on, let's eat. <laughs> so I'm going to get this in here. But if you're not used to having soy sauce and that type of thing, then just go very light with that. Okay. Just like got this one more. Let me take this and put this over here. Let's see what it looks like. Mm-hmm. You can smell that and clean up a hair. Oh, you, I want you to know my husband is probably cringing. He oh. can't stand mess. Oh, oh, how funny. Looky there. Why did you drop that on there like that? Well, I'm sorry, but I just did. <laughs> okay, let's put these over here. Mm. So what do you think? I'm going to take Yum. these and put these in here. Clean fingers. Don't anybody get excited. <laughs> this is the cauliflower right here. Okay. This is the um, zucchini. How do you know when they're done? Uh, well, that's why you cut them so thin. thin, and thin is it enough. when they turn golden brown? Yeah, and, and you can kind of tell that, uh -huh. that that's what they are. Uh -huh. All righty. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead. These are the mushrooms. If you want to help me here, sure. get these in You'll there. Take that one. Mm -hmm. And I got rid of my. Okay, those are hot. Oh boy, I'm ready. Yeah, babe. This is the the egg flour. What did I do with that? Okay. I picked that baby up, and it was Ooh. hot. Okay. All righty, well, let's just go ahead. You can see what a wonderful thing this is made. We have our dip right here. And I want you to know that we have been so glad to make this for you. And um, we are through for today, uh -huh. but we're not through forever. We're gonna be back. So we'll see you this time tomorrow, nine o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the evening. Watch for us, we'll be there. Thank you for joining Pastor Judy Stent. If you'd like to drop her a line, send it to Food for Body and Soul, P.O. Box 5310, Hemet, California 92544. Don't forget to visit our website, almv.us or AbundantLifeMinistriesOfTheValley.com. Hi, I'm Pastor Bob Stett, and this is my wife, Pastor Judy. We are inviting you to join us each and every day at 3.30 p.m. on Channel 3, right here on Time Warner Cable, and also Files, uh, Channel 38 for the Word of God.